Hello, this video tutor is discovering the reverse chart service designed for the platform Volfix.net. For your attention, we present the standard interface for our platform, as well as for other services. In the top section, you can see the major control elements for this view, and as well as for the other platform services. Mouse right click will fetch the context menu, where you can see other possible controls for this view. We will come back to this menu later on. I'd like to tell from the very beginning that this service type was uniquely developed by our company. Its design and graphics differ from the conventional ones. Actually, this is what we are going to tell further. What we would like to point out immediately, this service is available in two versions of the chart views, the reverse chart, which is opened via the control panel of the main view via the components bookmark, combo bar chart. It also has the same view of the chart. Here, the function true chart is switched on, and the clients who purchased the service of the reverse chart can use this chart view for the combined charts. This we plan to demonstrate at the end of this video tutor. Sorry. Now I will tell of the actual possibilities and features of the reverse chart service. The principal eye-catching feature, although it looks standard, is that the cluster architecture is built in a different way. Thus, when the usual chart various clusters, bars, pillars are built according to the time, so that each pillar represents changes for the time unit, be it a minute, 30 seconds, 5 minutes, an hour, a day, a week, they build up the reverse charts in accordance only with the event of the market price change. What does it mean? For example, for now, the volatility parameter is set at 2. It means that each new cluster will be added to the chart when the market will shift for 2 or more pips per cent in the direction opposite to the one of a previous cluster. So that now, we can observe how the new cluster is being built. It has a blue rectangular frame. So, to say the process of pillar publication was not complete till the next market shift in the opposite direction, up. From here, market shifted two pips down, and now one more. The last does belong neither to this cluster nor to the next one, as it demonstrates the dynamics. Alternatively, in case market drops one pips further down, a new cluster will appear. With the next third pips, it will start to build up, or in case market goes one pips up, all the volumes that were previously in the uniformed cluster will be added to the current one that is growing. Here we have, for example, such a high red cluster. What does it mean? It means that starting from this level, the market was shifting to the next level, without moving backwards for two pips or more. Yet here, we could notice a shift for three points up, then two points down, five up, and so on. Formation instant, beginning of the formation of this long cluster when the market was shifting down, four hours, 18 minutes, nine seconds. The next one appeared at 4.25 and 50 seconds. It means that this cluster was being built for almost 8 minutes. This small cluster was built in less than a minute. So thus we see that there is no connection to time. Also, the changing of volatility step can dramatically change the market picture, 
because the parameter of the cluster building is changed. Just look, here, you have just seen it. At the right side, a new cluster is building up for the upshift, but its parameters were not as required, and all the volume was added to this cluster for the downshift. Color of the clusters stands for their direction. They do not represent sales and purchases. This is an indication of direction. So, for example, there is a green cluster here. It means growth, which means the market was growing. Red cluster would mean the market was falling. Thus, by making a big change for the volatility step, we are making big changes for this view of chart. Let's move now to the other controls. Here, the period can be changed, so every 15 minutes would be framed separately on the background. This period framing can be switched off. For example, we set 15 minutes, and the clusters are being built for each period of 15 minutes. By this setting, we define that 7 or more pips backwards, but we nominally divide this cluster, which is shifting down. It was moving, but it can be switched off. The fall took time from 0 hours and up to 2 hours 25 minutes, so the condition of 7 plus pips was in action. I would like to point at the fact that volatility is counted from the step. Minimal set price step, and in case you change the price step, it influences the principle of the chart architecture. In case I double the price step, we will see only one cluster for today. By decreasing the step, I change the chart. What is the meaning of three? Three minimal price steps and market will shift backwards. In case we set the minimal step by initial pricing scale as 0 0.25 and parameter is three, it makes three minimal changes. In case the parameter is set at 0 0.5, it means six minimal price changes, but three minimal set steps. Now we go back to period settings, set 15 minutes, and every 15 minutes a new cluster starts to build up in accordance with the set parameters. What is model size? It means that we can highlight these clusters by setting them in a particular color, and this function is more meant to be used for the linear graphs. We will talk about this now. Here, by switching on true chart, we activate linear graph, and we don't see clusters anymore. But here, we see lines, volatility, and how it was built, how many fluctuations there were for the time unit, in the initial cluster chart, where time of the chart building has a secondary meaning, the time scale is not linear. Such a graph is very difficult to analyze. In case we switch on the line time function, we can see the linear time. The time scale is divided into even parts, and the whole graph fits into this time frame. This allows us to make a more precise analysis of the number of fluctuations for the time unit. For example, we observe the volatility growth for 5 minutes frame of time. So that the number of fluctuations with the parameter volatility2 was quite high. At this one here, you can see that the graph can be analysed via the use of the model size. 
we have here 5 pips now. It means that the volatility parameter is overlaid by the one of the higher order. Thus, in case the basic volatility parameter important for the graph building is set at 2, the model size will be 5. This means that the shift for 5 and more pips, with no backward shift, will obtain red and green colours. Here, I can change model size, and we see the graph getting colour. Here it is 8 pips, and more, thus here the downshift was in progress, without going back for 8 or more pips. Then the model started to grow, then it dropped again, now it again is going to grow. The next parameter available when the timeline function is on linear time, volume. Volume is shown horizontal, at the bottom. Our histogram is showing the volumes of each line, each cluster, so that the lines are in fact those clusters that we can see now. So we can see below the volume of each cluster, or the volume per minute, when the function of the linear time is on. This allows to give a good analysis for volatility and time with any of the instruments. So here we see the volume of growths, as well as the growth of volatility, which allows us to spot important zones because the growths of volatility fluctuations number per unit of time. In our case, it often tells about the, so to say, presence of the automatic market systems, which operate big market funds. It allows to give a more accurate graph analysis. Now we can move to the next instrument. This was Gemini Sunpin 500, as you saw. Let's move to Euro Future. Same volatility parameter 2, chart. We can also switch on line time and observe clusters. By changing the model size, we see that clusters change colour more often. The smaller the model is the more often the graph colour is changed, so in the natural way. Also, at the bottom we can switch between the volumes for a minute, for 5 minutes, 60. At the bottom we see an hour volume. And we can see volumes in pips, so that what number of points was included to various clusters. What does it mean? For example, data is 13. This very line has a high-low parameter of 13 pips. This is also a volatility parameter. We give more detailed description during our training classes. This is just a video about the cluster settings. Now let's go back to SNP and talk about the filter system.
Let's take volatility parameter for the better visual representation. I beg pardon, it should be volume range. Volume range allows same as in all other charts to set proportions for the volume inside clusters. It means that if I set it at 150, for example, and 800, it means the proportion rate varies from 800 to 150 for the horizontal pillars inside clusters. So there all the volumes that are under 150 are not represented on picture. Just their numerical representation, and so on. In case we set zero, the form will automatically set proportions from the biggest value here we have 618, 1048. They are the biggest values, and the selected segment goes down to zero. Proportions are set automatically, as well as for all other charts. Now we come to the context menu. Apply duplicates, apply button. Hide control panel, to hide the control panel. This allows to have a more compact chart. This is an option of scaling. Volume limit, principle of volume limit setting. This function is a bit not too much different from the resembling functions in the cluster profile and other charts. Buy reverse and sell reverse are volume filters for three bottom pips, in case we're talking about purchasing. And three top pips for every cluster. Why is it three clusters? Because the volatility parameter is three. It means that buy reverse and sell reverse are connected to the volatility parameter. What does this mean? I will demonstrate it now. Let's highlight buy reverse and buy with bright green. Buy all with dark green. Sell reverse let's highlight with bright red. Sell all with dark red. At the bottom of the chart you can see that when the parameter is set to zero they automatically highlight three top and three bottom clusters. In fact, three bottom volumes. In case we set the number of contracts at 200, for example, and press Buy All, set at 500. Here the same, 200 and 500. Press Apply. At the bottom, we see for three bottom pips, volumes are highlighted according to the set. Limit. Same is for the top three pips. In case we increase volatility parameter setting, the Buy Reverse meaning will grow to five pips means that the five bottom pips in a long cluster. Here, you can see them in the bottom as well. All the rest are by all. Now let's proceed. Grid is responsible for the time scale division by minute, five minute parts. And here, I have 15 minutes parts. This is more appropriate for the linear graph when the true chart and line time, linear time, are on. So as to see how volatility is formed in time options, standard options, script changes, parameter changes, in accordance with the current price and etc. They are standard. Everybody who's using the platform is already acquainted with them. Color settings are the settings for colors. You can change standard colors at your own taste. Search for the symbols or the stickers that you want to see. Line copying, view overlay, and save snapshot. It is also a standard function. Now several final words about Combo Bar Chart. Here you can see Combo Bar Chart settings I will show a bit later. Here is a standard bar chart. I have here charts for four weeks and a week parameter is highlighted. We can overlay months and thus see different periods for the same instrument at one time scale. Months, weeks, days, interday intervals, by minute charts and interday intervals and by second charts. You can connect all these charts to the reverse charts. For example, parameter true chart has four last weeks highlighted, so it's the current week and three preceding weeks. Volatility parameter is set at six. When traffic arrives, we see four weeks, 
but from the volatility point. It is important to pay attention to the most outstanding feature of this service combo bar chart, one by one period overlay for one instrument. You may notice that it is often that the weekly views for the same weekdays are published at the same time for different charts. Volatility is also seen here very clearly. Here, you can also change volatility step in order to see this chart type at different angles. There are also limit settings, etc., but they do not refer to today's video tutor about the reverse chart service. Thank you for your attention. We hope that the use of the reverse charts bring the profit to your trade. All the best and see you next time during the next videos about our platform.